Weather is expected to be uh, upper 30s, low 40s, some rain, maybe some snow, some sleet. Um, when you look at this game, what are going to be the keys for the Steelers uh, to come away with a win? This is uh, not any uh, surprise if you're familiar at all with the history of the Steelers and the Browns. Uh, I think you could have given these keys for about every game played between the teams since 1950. Uh, run the ball, stop the run, and don't turn it over. You mentioned the turnover margin. Steelers have been a little leakier than they wanted to the last couple of weeks. They still haven't been turning it, over, or turning it over a lot, but two in the red zone over the last two weeks. Arthur Smith said that has his attention. Nick Chubb, I thought, you know, looked the best he's looked so far against New Orleans. Six Over six yards of carry in his last two games against the Steelers. Obviously going to be highly motivated after the injury against Pittsburgh. I uh, can't let him get hot. Uh, he can take over a game. And then, you know, you're not going to want to throw the ball 30 times in the rain, in the mud, uh, in the crowd noise that, that they're expecting in Cleveland. Uh, I think they've got to be able to run the ball consistently, especially on first down, to keep themselves on schedule and extend drives. That's been a really big key for them as well. So nothing groundbreaking in terms of what they need to do. I think, like I said, it's always the case in these games, but um, it, it should be. And, and I'm looking forward to another battle in the uh, in the weather, man. It just feels like AFC North football. Disappointed that uh, the new building in Cleveland might have a dome. I, I really enjoy these type of games.